Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the super man of YouTube. And today another embargo has been lifted and the subject is passing. Now in my previous video, I told you guys about flashy passing and that I will get more in depth later in the week. Well, today is the day. I'm able to talk about all things passing. So I'm gonna tell you guys about button configuration, I'm going to tell you guys about new pass animations and I'm going to tell you about my overall experience with the new passing. Now, you guys may know about the pro stick and for those who do not, it's basically a new way to dribble, shoot and even pass and even play defense. To tell you the truth, the pro stick to me is an all around feature. So I'm here to talk to you guys about the feature within passing with the pro stick. Now, the first thing I can say is. In order to modify a pass, you have to press LT. Now, the funny thing is, last year, in order to modify your shooting, you had to press LT. So guess what 2K did? They did a little flip-flop. Now, in order to modify passes this year, you're going to have to press LT. Now, I know it seems like a lot, but to tell you the truth, how many of you guys are really passing out there? I know y'all know y'all one-man armies out there. Y'all just want to do everything, score 100 points. Ain't nobody got time to be passing. But for those guys that like to get assists, like to, you know, reward the man cut into the basket or reward the man that's open for three, this right here is for you. Now, let's see. Modifying passing. You have to press LT. I'm sorry for my for my PS3 fans out there. It's L2. I, I, I know I love y'all too. But in order to call a flashy pass, listen to me very closely. You have to press LT and use the right stick and basically direct it to whatever player you want to pass it to. So if you're driving to the lane and you see a guy trailing, you want to hold LT or L2 for PS3 and you want to hit, you want to hit the right stick backwards that's only if you're playing on 2k view so whatever view you play on you basically want to aim the right stick to whatever offensive player you want to pass it to so let's go over a little you know imaginary picture or something like that i might have something on the screen for you guys but say you're the point guard you have two guys on the wing you have one guy in the post and you have another guy in the corner you know sitting at the three-point line you call an isolation play now, of course, everybody is going to stay in their spot. So you break down your defender and the guy in the post decides, oh, OK, I'm going to go cheat over because I know that the point guard is about to get beat. What you do is you hit the LT button, you hit the right stick on a diagonal point to the guy in the post. Don't try to hit it to the left or to the right. You want to go diagonal. You want to hit the right stick directly to wherever that player is standing in your camera view. And what your player would do, your point guard, he's going to throw a no look. He's going to throw a behind the back, through the legs, over the head. I mean, it's all different types of passing animations. Now, I've probably seen about seven different flashy passes. I've seen one where there's a skip pass. A guy throws it between his legs to his teammate. A guy that throws an overhead pass. A guy that throws a nice little no look. I mean, a guy that's like in midair with a behind the back. I've, uh, man, whew, if Pistol Pete was in 2K14, good goodness gracious. But uh, <laughs> let me get into a little bit more factuals with you guys. Now, for the people that are listening to this video and got the window minimized, you might want to pop open a window because I'm about to go over a configuration list with you guys. Now, like I said, this year, passing has totally been redefined. All the buttons from last year for passing, forget about them. The only button that is still the same is the A button. Everything else has been changed. Now, anybody remember how to throw an alley-oop in NBA 2K13? I'm going to wait for it. Okay, guess what? In order to throw an alley-oop in NBA 2K14, you have to press LT and X. No more X and A, ladies and gentlemen. LT and X to throw an alley-oop. Now, in order to throw a bounce pass, you just have to press LT and A. Real easy peasy. Now to throw a fake pass, you guys have to press X and A. So for all those guys out there that's going to be playing this NBA 2K14 demo and they come running down the court with a head full of steam and want to throw it off the backboard to themselves and they end up pressing X and A, guess what? You're going to throw a fake pass and you're going to be standing there with the ball. So in order to throw an alley-oop, you want to press LT and X and in order to throw a bounce pass, you want to press LT and A. Now, 
everybody knows that I'm famous for rolling the ball on the inbounds, you know, because I'm just cool like that. In order to roll the ball during an inbound play, you want to press LT and A. All right. That's the configuration for passing. That is the total bear down way how to pass. Now, I'm going to go over it with you guys one more time before I get into my experience with just generally passing. To throw a flashy pass, LT plus right stick in any direction your player is in. To throw an alley-oop, LT plus X. To throw a bounce pass, LT plus A. To do a fake pass, X and A. And to roll a ball on the inbound play, LT plus A. Now, now that that's over, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my experience on how passing feels this year. Now, I remember last year in NBA 2K13, passing felt like it was a little sluggish, a little too slow because when you would throw the ball in the middle of the lane, it would be a defender just, just happened to have 99 plus million <laughs> awareness that would just slap the ball down out of midair. And of course, you guys know this is the computer. They would just slap the ball down. It would be a turnover. They would Superman glitch and catch it. I mean, they played the passing lane so well on this game that I didn't even want to play it much. So in NBA 2K14, that was the first thing that I tested out with passing. Every time I called the pick and roll, guess what? I tried out the person that was guarding the center or guarding the power forward, whomever had picked for me. And what happened was when I started throwing those passes, I was able to throw bounce passes. I was able to play, I mean, not play, but pass cross chest passes uh, directly to the offensive player. And it was only picked off a few times. And that was in situations where the defender was actually facing me to play a double team instead of him actually guarding his man and then, you know, uh, magically sliding over and tipping the ball. So what I can say here is all that Superman glitching in the middle of the lane, Chris Bosh and all those guys just having magic hands and magic awareness. That seems like that has been toned down to is where it seems more realistic. Now, for passing on the wing, you know, passing, you know, to one guy on the wing, back to, you know, like point guard to small forward, small forward back to point guard, point guard to shooting guard, and back and so forth and so on. That seems very fluid to is where when you pass it to a guy, his man automatically jumps in his face. I mean, he totally crowds him. You know, and then that guy would pass it back. And then, you know, you can just play, you know, whichever way you want. Now, for people that like to drive the lane and kick out, that seems very, very good this year. You don't even have to go into a shot and then pass out a shot. You can actually just pass it to the guy on the wing or pass it to the guy that's cutting to the basket. And it feels very fluid. Full court passing. There is still that way of when there are guys running on the wing and you think, okay, I'm under the basket and I'm just going to launch it to the guy that's running to the three-point line, there's still those animations where he's either going to step out of bounds, the ball's going to go over his head, or, you know, he'll fumble the ball and walk out of bounds. Now, for the people that run straight directly to the, the other end of the court, right under the basket, there still feels like there's that magnetic pull towards where if you throw it straight to a guy that's cutting straight to the basket, I mean, straight he'll catch the ball. So I talked to them about that. They said they'll see what they can do. Hopefully, you know, it's, it's to his where if that person doesn't have break starter or something like that, and if a player is too far away and he doesn't have the hands that is equipped to catch a ball, hopefully those guys will miss those passes, fumble those passes, turn over those passes, and things will be better for that. Now, I've went over pick and rolls, went over general passing, went over full court passing. Now, let me go over my experience with flashy passing now i've done a lot of flashy passing when i was playing nba 2k14 and there's one thing i can tell you centers and power forwards and even some small forwards that don't have a great passing rating won't be doing those miraculous flashy passes now i'm gonna tell you what an animation would look like if chris bosh tried to throw a flashy pass to lebron james if Le if, <laughs> if chris bosh is at the top of the wing or top of the key, and he's trying to throw LeBron a flat, flashy, flashy pass, and he's cutting, it'll probably be like a no-look pass, 
like on the one on the screen and you know he'll just pass it to him like that but ain't gonna be no between the legs behind the back over the head and all of that no it's not gonna be like that it's just i think the power forwards and the centers mainly have one good flashy pass animation and that's it because their passing doesn't max out but for the point guards man i mean sky's the limit I seen Chris Paul do some crazy stuff. I seen Rondo do some crazy stuff. Steve Nash, Rubio. Oh man, I even seen um, Steph Curry do some crazy passing. So when it comes to you know point guards, I think that they're gonna be the top people created as my career players. But there is a but. LeBron James threw a flashy pass in this picture, which means LeBron James' passing rating is high. He's a small forward. Which means people that want to create shooting guards and small forwards don't think that you can't throw a flashy pass. You're going to be able to throw flashy passes as well, but you may not have as many in your arsenal because of your passing rating. So that's that. But uh, I hope I went over everything, you know, that has to entitle passing with you guys. I don't want to keep you guys past 12 minutes, so I'm going to get up out of here. I hope I went as in-depth as I needed to. This is IKC signing out. Definitely hit me up on Twitter if you guys have any questions about passing. I can answer anything about passing. So if you hit me up on Twitter, don't ask me about my team. Ask me about passing. But this is IKC signing out. As embargoes lift, I will keep bringing you guys this information and everything. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.